Hi, I'm Steve Jones from SQL Server Central and Redgate Software. I want to show you how you can push your changes from Git uh, or to, through Git in SQL Source Control out to your remote repository. So I've got a database set up here, SimpleTalkDB, that has a number of objects in it, a number of tables, views, all kinds of things. Let's create something new in here. In this case, let's create a new table. We'll call this uh, Git Demo. We'll just give it a quick column and we'll compile this table. Brand new table that's been created in the system. If we look in the list of tables, we'll actually see that that table, uh, git demo, is here. And if I go to SQL Source Control and refresh my list, we'll see that as a new change to our system. We can certainly commit this now and say a new table for the git demo. I know I didn't spell that correctly, but that's not really that important. And once I've made this change and I've committed it, it's committed to my local repository, which actually exists on my local machine. And if I were to look here, we would see Git Demo has appeared. But in SQL Source Control, you'll notice that I have a little dialog that popped up here, so there's a commit that can now be pushed. Since I've configured a remote repository, I can push this and get a warning that this is going to push all changes from the repository, not just what SQL Source Control committed. In that case, we've pushed these changes out there and if I were to go out to GitHub and look and refresh this page, what I'll actually see is that my table appeared right here, a new table for the Git demo. And the same thing works with store procedures, views, functions, any other objects that you have that you can commit through SQL Source Control, you can push them through Git. I'm Steve Jones for SQL Server Central and Redgate Software.